Hey y'all, it's Pops and Nana from livingcooper.com with a Nana so crafty. We had a new grandson a few months ago now and I wanted to get him a baby shopping cart hammock. We decided we'd try to make one ourselves and it turned into a challenge. Pops has ver his version, I have my version. Follow along as we work it out, try it out, and see how we got to our completed prototypes. For this project, you're gonna need two yards of your favorite fabric, one yard of quarter inch elastic, two packages of 11 inch storage straps from the tarp aisle at Lowe's because you need four and they come in a package of three. From Hobby Lobby, you're gonna need a package of one inch nylon strapping for the seat belt, a parachute buckle to fit the one inch nylon strapping. And again, from Lowe's, you're gonna need Night Eyes S beaners from the hardware deport department to attach the hammock to the cart. You'll also need some form of paper to make your pattern. I folded my two yards in half and I pinned my seat back pattern piece and my seat bottom pattern piece and cut one time making two pieces of each pattern. Then I marked the center of the seat bottom and seat back so that I can pin the pieces together. Now that the pieces are pinned together, I'm gonna to sew the seat bottom to the seat back for both sets of pieces. The next thing I did was pressed about a half an inch seam allowance towards the wrong side of the fabric down the long edge of each pattern piece of the hammock. After you're done ironing, carefully line the two pieces together, wrong sides together. Pin the seat seam of the two pieces together very well. After pinning really well, I sewed in the ditch on the seam from one side to the other of the seat seam. Fortunately, I had a box similar to the size and shape of a shopping cart. So I used closed pins to attach my hammock and put baby Lizzie in there so that I could decide where I wanted to place my finished edge for the head and the foot of the hammock. Where I marked my finished edge with the pin, I folded under both the top piece and the bottom piece at the foot of the hammock and pinned it. Then I took the strap, one for each corner of the foot piece, and cut it in half. Pops melted the cut portion of the strap so it wouldn't fray. So I pinned the straps inside in between the top and the bottom piece at the foot of the hammock. I then top stitched from one side to the next twice. Went back and I clipped my threads and then I sewed the interior portion of the straps multiple times, four or five times, horizontally and vertically just to secure them within the hammock itself. Let's attach the sides of our hammock. Start at the foot and pin your hammock on both sides where you've already pressed under your seam allowance. Begin sewing at the foot and sew all the way down with about a quarter of an inch seam allowance, securing both sides of your fabric together. You don't see me doing it, but I took my elastic and I measured out 18 inches on the entire package of elastic and marked it with a Sharpie. I then opened a small area of my sewn seam and put the piece of elastic inside of the fold and went back and re-sewed it and anchored it near the foot. I then strung out the elastic and pinned it, essentially making a channel along the side seam on both sides. and sewed a channel all the way down to the head of the hammock. When I finished sewing the channel, I pulled the elastic until I found the dot that I marked. I then secured the elastic at the end of the seam at the head of the hammock. I snipped the elastic and I continued with the same process on the other side of the hammock.
All right, the foot seam is done, the side seams are done. Let's get this box out and figure out where we're going to put the head seam and the straps. Now that I figured out where I'm going to put the head seam and straps, I'm just going to repeat the same process I used for the foot seam and straps. To make the center strap for the seat belt assembly, I cut a piece of fabric 4 inches wide by 16 inches long. I pressed under a quarter inch down the two long sides and then I sewed them down. Then I pressed a quarter inch under on both short sides and then I sewed them down. I then folded the fabric in half and I placed the seat belt buckle inside of the strap and I aligned it inside of my sewing machine and placed the presser foot next to it to make sure there was enough wiggle room for the seat belt to slide around in the seat belt center strap. I don't show it here but I took the center strap and laid the base of it on the center seam, seat seam and laid the strap straight out to the side and marked where I was going to make buttonholes to pass the strapping through. I pinned the center seat belt strap to the center of the seat seam and I attached it by making a straight stitch three or four times back and forth for a good secure seam. I then made a buttonhole stitch over the two side seam marks that I made to pass the seat belt strapping through. I used my seam ripper and snippers to snip open a little gap inside of the buttonhole to pass through my seat belt strapping. Then I laid the baby in and ran the strapping through the two holes and the center loop. I think I used probably about three feet of strapping, but you can adjust it how you see fit. Snipped off the extra, burned the end so it wouldn't fray, and we called it good. The hammock is pretty simple and easy to install, but it does take a little bit of trial and error. As you can see, you attach the four S-beaners on your basket securely, clipping them on over the top edge of the basket. You can adjust it by height depending on the basket and the size of your baby. And if you want the head higher or the feet higher, just kind of trial and error without the baby in the hammock. Time to buckle in the baby, add the toys and pacifiers, and get to shopping. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos. Like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments. Hit that notification button. Y'all keep watching. Pop's version of the baby shopping cart hammock is coming soon. Thanks again.